So as of right now, I do not have Call of Duty Mobile on my computer whatsoever. That way you guys can follow exactly what I do and hopefully it helps you guys. And with that being said, we're just going to get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is go to the internet browser and all you guys have to do is type in game loop. G-A-M-E-L-O-O-P. Quick little background on Game Loop. Basically, it is made by Tencent. So this is like the official emulator for Call of Duty Mobile and other games. I highly recommend you guys use this emulator and not BlueStacks because if you use BlueStacks, there's a chance of getting banned. Now, nobody wants to lose their stuff. The safest way to play these games is using Game Loop. I want you guys to click on the top option where it says the best android emulator for pc will bring you to this website all i'm going to do is click on call of duty mobile and then i'm going to press this download button once you do that you should have it installed on the top right but my browser is preventing this so all i have to do is hit options here and allow and then there we go it just popped up on the top right so i'm going to click on this but yeah after you do that you can close the browser now all we have to do is click install on this game loop app. So right now it's basically downloading the application and then it's gonna download the game. After it's done downloading, keep the shortcuts checked and then click on start. So as you guys can see, it's already downloading Call of Duty, which is good. So if I click the down arrow on the top right, all we have to do is wait for this to finish and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, so my game is almost done and I believe it's going to open up the game right away. Right now it's verifying, installing, and there we go. It's opening up the game and now it has more installing to do. Okay, so right now everything is done and now I am on this screen. If you guys see Google Play, Facebook, Call of Duty, what I want you guys to do is press the X button on the top right, close this window, hit yes. Okay, now we should be back on this screen. What I want you guys to do, go to the top right. I want you guys to click the hamburger three line button. And then I want you guys to click on settings. So in here is a bunch of settings for the emulator so it runs smooth. So a couple things we want to change in the basic tab. This auto run at startup, I'm going to turn off. I highly recommend you guys turn this off because you don't really want to have this running every time you turn on your computer. This next option, hide advanced watermarks, I'm going to turn on. Not really sure what watermarks shows, but I don't want to see anything. No ads, no nothing. Just want to play the game. Okay, now that you guys have done that, let's go to engine. Now this is where it's going to depend on everybody's computer. If you have a low end computer, I would probably recommend keeping everything on auto, keeping this option off. Make sure you have the right resolution. Okay, now for people that have a high end computer, I recommend we go with DirectX Plus. After that, we're gonna basically crank everything to ultra. So these are the settings I'll be using on my game loop emulator. Again, if you don't know, put everything on automatic. After that, we're going to move on to the next tab model. Once you're here, I want you guys to go to this drop down arrow and go to common model. After you do that, you'll see the Asus Rogue 2. This is what we want. After you guys do that, go to the game tab. And again, this is where it depends on your computer. If you have a low end computer, I recommend keeping it at 720p and automatic. But for me and maybe others, we're going to crank this up. After you guys do all that, press the save button and then we are good to go. Now from here, we have to go back onto the game now. So there is multiple ways to get on the game. As you guys can see in my installer, I can open the game from here. Or if you go to library and close this little menu for now, you can see Call of Duty Mobile is at the top middle. I can open it from here or on the desktop now. Just double click that, press yes if you see that menu. And then as you guys can see, the anti-cheat is going on and the game will load up right now. After that, you're probably gonna update the game. This game updates a lot, new seasons that happen all the time. Basically, we're just gonna wait and let it do its thing. So after you guys are done downloading, all we have to do is click on accept. And then after that, we have to log in. I don't recommend clicking on guest because everything you obtain and grind for will be lost. So I highly recommend you guys make an account. If you guys are brand, brand new, I recommend clicking on the Call of Duty one and making an Activision ID. So for me, I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna bring you to this login website. Again, if you already have an account, just put your email and password. Click on I'm not a robot and log in. But if you don't have one, you can sign up at the very bottom. Since I have one, I'm gonna log in. And when you click on I'm not a robot, you're gonna to have to do this 
awesome fun little mini game and then hit verify and then click on login we're just going to go to the top right click on the x button and then at the top left back in action arrow click on that go to the top right click on the x click on the x again and again and again Oh my god, that's way too many. Okay, now we're on the main menu. If you made a brand new account, you're probably going to have to go through a tutorial, which is perfectly normal. After you get through all that, we can get to the other settings. Okay, so there's a couple things we have to do. I want you guys to click on this down arrow. There's a bunch of stuff we have to download. So basically, this is just downloading all the recommended stuff. If you click the bottom right download all button, you will download every single thing in the game. So every single map in the game, all the weapons, camos, operator skins, high quality audio, vehicle skins. So for me, since I want all that, I'm gonna click on download all. But if you just want the recommended stuff, just click on these options. This is for HD resources. Yes, click okay. But if you want everything, I'm just gonna click on download all. And now at the top, you'll see downloading 5.5%. Wait until this gets to 100% and then we can move on. Okay, so the next thing we have to do, go to the top right in the game, the gearbox click on that and this is where there's going to be a lot of settings and a lot of menus so all we're going to do we're going to start from the top and make our way to the bottom the first thing we should do go to controls mp mode we have to do it for every single mode in the game so we got battle royale and zombies as well make sure this is on custom on the advanced mode click on the gearbox and we need every single option to be hip fire if we do not do that we cannot hit fire in the game so once you do all that, just press the X button here, and then we just have to do the same thing in BR mode. Go custom, press the gear, and make sure it's all on hip fire. Same thing with zombies, custom, gear, hip fire. Okay, so the next thing we have to go into is the basic tab. Now in here, there's gonna be so many options, but the main thing we have to do is make sure the ADS is on tap and hold to ADS. After you do that, you can change your FOV, HUD settings, bunch of stuff. So we're not gonna go into too much detail on here because everybody's different. And same thing with BR mode and zombies, there's just gonna be a lot of things to go through. Okay, now we're gonna move on to audio and graphics. Now, again, this is going to depend on everybody's computer. If you have a high-end computer, put everything on very high and ultra for the frame rate. If you have a low-end computer, don't worry too much about the graphics. At least get the game feeling good and smooth. So if it's still not running well for you, I highly recommend just putting stuff on low. Figure out the best happy medium for your computer. Again, there's a lot of settings in here, but those are basically the two main options. The rest is up to you. At the very bottom though, you'll have a shader preload. I highly recommend you start this. This should help make the game run a lot smoother. After you do that, you have the audio tab, bunch of stuff in here, you got effects. Again, a lot of things to go over, but the main three things was the graphics, the frame rate, and the shader preload. After that, you got your sensitivity options. Again, we're not gonna go through all this, it's just too much. You got your BR settings, vehicle settings, quick message, you got controller options, which is a whole other video because you don't wanna be using this exactly. You're gonna have to be using the emulator options at the top. So I'll probably have to make another video on that if you guys would like to see how to use a controller on PC. You got some other hidden options. You got allow friends to spectate if you're playing. That's a pretty cool option if you want that on. You got the language tab so you can change the language to whatever you want. Okay, now the very last thing we should go over is basically this top bar on the right side. Basically, I want you guys to go back to settings. I need you guys to go to basic and I want you guys to scroll all the way down until you get to the mini map. Once you guys get to minimap settings, I want you guys to click on custom layout. After you guys do that, I need you guys to press control on your keyboard. After that, you can see your mouse again. And I need you guys to go to the top right and press this key mapping button. Once you do that, you'll basically see an overlay of what keys do what. I'm just gonna fix my joystick so it's actually over it. I don't know why it was completely off. This is our right click to aim, space to jump. And for some reason, the Z is completely off of the prone. I've got the crouch, got the reload completely off for some reason, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So it's kind of complicated in here. I'm just trying to make sure everything is actually on the things that we need. This should be fine, but I'll just do that for now. 
Okay, now if there's something you guys don't like and you want to change something, like for me, crouch on C, I can't do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to input a key that I would like to have as crouch. So for me, I'm going to use my mouse button on the side. I'm going to click on that. And as you guys can see, it says mouse side button two. So now if I want to crouch and slide, I just have to press that and it'll do it. Again, you can do that with a bunch of stuff in here. Also, this is where you change your sensitivity. But yeah, hopefully this all makes sense. Again, it's a little annoying. It is what it is. But yeah, after you do all that, you have to click on save and then hit control on your keyboard again. And then we're gonna hit exit, get out all that baloney. And if you guys wanna go in full screen mode, all you have to do is click on this button at the top here. And if you ever wanna exit, press F11 on your keyboard. And yeah, that's basically it for all the settings for this game. Again, there's a lot to go over. Again, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.